Hey guys, Mike Two from Orchard Trailers here. Today we're going to go through a 2020 Puma 22 RBC travel trailer. So this is a bunk unit. I'm going to work my way through it, show you how everything should work. Hopefully this helps you when you get it home so you'll know what features you have, how to use them, and go have fun with it. Here in the kitchen there is controls for your fresh tank, black tank, gray tank, and battery. So you push that button, it'll tell you how full or empty they are. Battery's gonna show full because we are plugged into shore power. And then we have our water pump. You only wanna run that if you bring in your water on board and then your water heater. So that's gonna be gas. There's a fault here because there's no gas in this unit at the moment. That will auto fire and then that will come on and that light will go off. All right, so starting over here, got some storage over the sink. We have a traditional mini blind here. This mini blind closes up. It is tabbed to the wall on each side so it doesn't swing while you're traveling and scuff up your walls. Of course, we got our faucet, our sprayer pulls out and turns either way. We have a full square rectangle sink here and we have this nice little roller mat. This mat's really nice if you wanna use half the sink and you wanna dry your stuff on the other side. It's also good for prep space if you're cutting up vegetables or something like that. It just pops right in here. All right. We do have a touch light here for some light over the sink. Down below, we have a door with some storage. We've got a couple drawers, and we've got your furnace down here. Well, that furnace is gas only, and I'll touch on that when we get to the thermostat here in just a few minutes. Moving over this way, we got our microwave. The microwave itself is not anything really fancy. There are a couple presets up here but it's just a standard microwave. Below that, we have a range hood, we have a light, and we have a fan. All right, nice backsplash back here. Behind the stove, there's a wood block here with four slits in it. Those slits are actually a knife block. So in a small unit like this, it's a nice place to have you know, your knives rather than having a big block taking up the kitchen space that you don't really have. All right, the stove top is glass. That's a prep space first and foremost. Secondly, it's going to fold up out of the way. And it's going to make another backsplash back here to keep everything off of that wall. We have three burners up top here. We have an igniter here. And then we have our knobs for our stove. And then we have our knob for our oven. All right, so first and foremost, you're going to turn this on to your setting. And you're going to want to click this light. I don't have any gas in here, so it's not going to light. No, there's three burners there. The oven's a little different. I'm gonna open up that oven. I usually leave the door partially open so I can see the element underneath. If you turn this to light, hold the button in, and click this igniter, you can see in the reflection of the glass that pilot light sparking. Once it's lit, hold that button in for a few seconds and let that warm up. That's gonna warm up your thermocoupler and then eventually you can turn the oven on and you'll be ready to go. All right, turn that off. And then below that, there is a door for some storage. All right, right here, there's a switch. This switch is for this refrigerator. So this is a 12 volt fridge. So you wanna turn that on. And that'll run off your battery power. And it'll power the compressor and run this fridge. Keep in mind, that's gonna drain your battery power pretty quickly. So you should be plugged into the car or hopefully plugged into the campsite and you don't really need that but it is there if you need it. Below that is your converter box. I'll come back to that with the camera at a better angle for it. And then over on this side, we have two cabinets. Pantry space here. And that's the kitchen. Just outside the bathroom, we have a medicine cabinet. We have a GFI outlet. Uh, the GFI outlet is going to be your number one place to check if you have an issue with outlets. So if you're plugged into 110 power, and you don't have outlets for some reason hit that button reset that that might be the problem right there and of course we've got a cabinet underneath the sink for storage i'm going to move you a little bit closer and show you this thermostat over here all right now for the thermostat this is going to adjust your temperature up and down down bottom here is going to be cool for your air conditioner fan if you're on fan you're going to come over to this side and you're going to have Auto, low and high, that'll shut off at your temperature. On, low and high, that'll shut off when you shut it off, not until then. 
off obviously it's going to turn all your systems off and then heat is going to turn on your furnace furnace is gas only in this unit all right so over in the corner here we have our bunks that bunk has a window in it up top here and two usbs the bow tie looking device in the middle is your lock for the window then that just pulls up and down and hooks into those two black clips and then just pull those out and let that window come down from there we do have a touch light up top moving down to the bottom bunk we also have two usbs and a light just down below the bunks we have your lp detector so your lp detector will tell you if there's ever a gas leak in here it's also a carbon monoxide detector if this thing is beeping steadily screaming at you you want to get out of here as quickly as possible that means you have a leak or a carbon monoxide leak it is hardwired into the battery out front so it will chirp like a traditional smoke detector if that battery out front is dying at that point though you'll already know that you know your lights don't work well in here you don't have any power or stuff like that so you'll know your battery but as I promised we came back to the converter box here just below your fridge we have this box if you push that in this drops and you have all your breakers and all of your fuses now these breakers are all labeled your main 30 is up top your fuses are automotive style fuses you can get them wherever you get your fuses from for your car when you close this door this window will let you see the red light that's on the fuses so when one of these goes out there's a red light in here and that'll light up and tell you which one it is you can also see it right through there and then at the bottom we have two cooling fans built in to keep this thing from overheating on this side of the camper we're going to have storage up top we have a traditional smoke detector here with a nine volt battery so when that nine volt when this chirps just change that nine volt out there we're going to have a touch light here underneath now your radio is an IRV technologies radio so there is an app for this radio called IRV whether you use Android or iOS there's an app for both it will let you control this radio first and foremost is a power button up top here power button obviously turns it on but when you go to shut this radio off you have to actually hold that button or it'll just mute the radio if you tap it it's going to mute it if you hold it it'll power it off this is an AM FM CD DVD radio it is CD and DVD but it is not blu-ray it is a Bluetooth radio you can hook up your phone to it and play your Pandora Spotify or Amazon music whatever you have through it um, the BT stands for Bluetooth all right we're gonna turn that on. they always come on a little loud we're gonna turn that on we're gonna hit Bluetooth right now it says Bluetooth no link with that that means you're not connected once you find this radio it's usually irv 62 or irv 33 32 something like that this will connect to your phone and that'll say bluetooth link below that is the clock if we hold the clock button we're going to be able to change so we can just dial turn on this dial tap it to change the minutes when we're done we just hit clock again and we're all set to go all right uh you have am fm up here so AM FM has two AMs and three FMs. All right, you can go to your disc. We can go to mode. You can run your TV audio through here. I'll show you some connections back here when we move the camera back. You can go to front audio. You have some audio inputs here. You have front HDMI. You have TV audio too if you have a second source. And then we'll go back to AM FM. We have presets down here one through six you just hold the button and that'll preset just like in a car up top we have zone one for inside zone two for outside you can run them one at a time or both at the same time and then we have our fast forward skip chapters pause and play so fast forward and skip are going to work for dvd but they're also going to work for the radio so the radio is going to have a, a single frequency with that fast forward and skip with the chapter skip you're going to scan with the pause and play, it's going to allow you to just hold that button and it's going to get the strongest presets and you'll get whatever the strongest channels are preset for you. Down below, we have our infrared. There is a remote for this. It needs to be pointed right at this infrared. That's why the app's kind of important. The app you can use outside. You don't have to come back in to change the sta station. The auxiliary is if you have an older iPod that's not Bluetooth capable, you can get a male-to-male -male headphone jack. Plug in right here. 
you've got a five volt charge and then you've got that HDMI if you have another device you want to plug in like a, a gaming console or something like that. All right, now the table and the dinette, um, obviously first and foremost are a table and a dinette. From there, you can break them down to make a bed. So we're gonna wiggle this table off. We'll pull these poles up. I would typically store these two poles underneath the bed. I'm gonna put the table on the cleats over here. You're gonna to wanna to pick up the cushions a little bit. All right, and then there is a snap under here to hold this in place so it doesn't slide when you're moving. All right. When you're traveling, this is how you want to travel. You want to leave that table down so it's not falling and hitting the stove or the wall or something like that. When you want to make a bed, we're just going to take these cushions, put them right in the middle here. All right. There's also an outlet below the table as well if you need 12 volt power or excuse me, 110 power when you're at the campsite. All right, underneath the cushions, you can pick these up. There's a finger hole here in the plywood and that picks up for storage. Over on this side, have awning in, awning out. We have lights for outside and lights for inside. All right, and then we have a fire extinguisher. Up top here, we have your King Jack plate. So behind this is a little cable that will allow you to upgrade to Wi-Fi. So it is pre-wired for this system. You can get it from King. There's a couple different systems you can get for the roof. And it will allow you to get Wi-Fi boosters or to eventually get LTE capabilities. Just below that is your in for your auxiliary satellite and your antenna. This button here turns on a green light, turns off a green light. So when you push this in, that green light is your antenna. When you turn it off, that's gonna be cable or satellite, whatever you've got going on. So that's your antenna booster. Just wanna leave that on if you're looking for antenna. And we have power. Coming out of the wall, we have an HDMI here that will hook up to your TV. That comes from the radio source. Next to that, we're gonna have your TV mount. That'll hold your TV, whichever one you choose. Next to that, we have your TV mount. This is mounted right into the wall, ready to accept a TV. It does have a little claw on it here. And this post here, that snaps into place for travel. Nice loud click. That secures the TV while you're going down the road. Up front here, we have the bedroom. So in the bedroom, the bed lifts for storage. Under here, you're gonna find your spare tire cover and your hand crank for the stabilizer jacks outside. What I suggest for those is getting a three quarter inch socket and a cordless drill, make your life a lot easier. I'm also going to tell you here and probably get outside, don't lift the trailer with those jacks. They're just meant for stabilization. They will break if you try to pick this thing up. So get your trailer leveled off and then put them down until they just touch and snug them a tiny bit so you don't feel the shake in here when you're moving around. Moving up here, on each side of the bed I've got a 110 outlet. On this side I also have two USBs. We have hanging space here, nice shelf up top, and we have a touch button up here. Now these pleated shades go up and down. The front window does not open. This window does open. The window on that side is an emergency window, and I will actually show you how to get that open in just a second. All right, for your emergency exit window over here, we're gonna put this curtain up. We're gonna, th this is tabbed under. We're gonna use our thumb and pop that out new windows sometimes they're a little sticky so this first and foremost is notched to keep the window open a little bit wider and let some air in here if you ever do get into an emergency situation though you want to grab this triangle pull this screen off push this out and get out of here all right this will get hung up on that rivet coming in you just got to pull it through and clip it back under there and that's your emergency exit window that's the inside of the puma 22 rbc travel trailer I hope I've answered a lot of your questions. We're going to move outside and try to answer them out there as well. I'll be right back. All right, so out here on the outside, we're going to have a few things we want to talk about. First and foremost, I want to start with the pass-through storage. 
the storage opens up here and then it goes all the way through there is a clip up top here to hold that up it is plastic so be careful with it just ahead of that is going to be your solar input now this is only rated for 20 amps so it's not going to run the camper it's just going to trickle charge your batteries all right for the stairs you're going to want to make sure you open the door all the way up otherwise the stairs will catch on the screen door these stairs just fold right up and in and this yellow handle that locks them into place when you want to pull them down pull this handle and move them down now on these stairs there's a pin here that will allow you to lengthen or shorten the stairs in case you have an uneven campsite or you need a little bit more clearance. For the awning, I want to let this run all the way out. It's actually pretty quick on. Once you've got the awning out, you want to make a rain dump from time to time. And this will pull down. Screw this in nice and tight, and that'll hold your awning in this position so the water can run off one side or the other. When you let it go, you want to hang on, hang on to this, because this gas shock will snap it up on you. Just leave a little pressure on it, let it gently go up, and then of course leave these loose for when you pull the awning back in. And never leave the awning out like this in high wind. It won't be good. Underneath the awning, you'll see you have an LED light strip. You'll have two speakers above the window. Below the window, you have a TV mount. This will let you bring your kitchen TV outside with that mount. It just comes right off the wall and hangs right out here. When you do that, you've got antenna carryover and power carryover. Moving back, we've got your outside kitchen. This we're going to just open with these two tabs. Pop that up. All right. We're going to secure this up here. And then in this kitchen, we have your griddle. Now, this hasn't been prepped yet, so your griddle top isn't on here. Uh, we do have a sink here. This does have a hose and a sprayer. And this is a dump basin. And then you have a drawer here as well. Next to that, we have a 110 operated fridge. This is 110 only. It will not work on gas. Underneath that kitchen is going to be a gas line for your griddle. On the back of the camper, we're going to have your hot water heater. All right, so in here, we're going to have all of your connections to control this hot water heater. So you're gonna have your resets, your blow off valve, and there should be a little switch underneath to turn it on and off. Next to that's going to be your spare tire. And just underneath the camper, we have your low point drains. Next to the tire, we're gonna have your cable and satellite hookup. Down bottom, we're gonna have your legs for stabilization. Again, these are cheap metal. Please don't lift the camper with them. Moving forward from there, we're gonna have your dumps here. So black tank back here in the back, gray tank down underneath here. And above that, we're gonna have a shower and your city water connection. So if you have a Hook up at your campsite, you're gonna plug in there. Our power cord feeds in here. Moving up, we have our fresh water fill. So if you're dry camping, you're gonna to wanna to fill that up. Up above there, it's going to be your range hood vent. That will let your range hood vent outside. There's a couple little flaps here that'll let you pull open. Down we have furnace vent. Then we have the other side of the pass-through storage. Clip for that. And then we have all of your VIN information. 
the tire pressure, tire sizes, weights, and things like that. Around the front, we have, this is where our battery will go. This is where our propane tanks go. And then we have our power tongue jack here. So this guy will bring you up and down. There's also a hole here. And you can take your crank and you can crank this thing up should it ever go down. We have a light out front. And we have an up and down here. All right, and that's about it for the Puma 22 RBC travel trailer. That's one last look at the outside. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe.